Yeah, that's right. That's right. I said it. We're bringing it right to fuck back with uh, Little Nightmares DLC. And uh, we're going to jump right to fuck into this because I am still pretty current progress. Sure, I already beat it. Sure, why not? And, uh, our, uh, pff, fuck, I am still fucking drunk. Um, bringing it right back with the Little Nightmares DLC. And it looks like it's three chapters. Which I'm fine with. I mean, this DLC, I'm not expecting a whole full fucking game out of this, but I, 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 I'm, I am fucking jazzed right now, bro. I'm sort of running off the high of the ending of the first one of the original base game, bro. I am. Yo, we better do this shit. Not all of it. Just, just like the base game, I want to drag it out a little bit. I want to let it breathe. We're gonna do the first part, and. Hopefully, I can, like, recognize when it's over, unlike the last, like, doing the last two chapters within an hour. But, hey, shit, I won't be, I won't mind if I stop in the middle of it. But what's your story, my guy? Well, I don't even know fucking the other girl story, the girl story. You feel like a guy to me. You give me a real guy vibe right now, and I'm, that's, that's, oh, shit. Hey, hey, wait, I just started. H hang on, man. Oh, shit, this is the orphan. This, well, this is the, the, the kids section. I snuck by here earlier. Can I, can I, can I do something with you? Can I just, no? You don't have a, f you don't have a, a fucking, uh, Lighter. This is going to be dark. I might have to up this brightness because I don't have a lighter. Hold on. Let me just... Let me just... Real quick. That didn't help worth a damn. Alright, we're going <laughs> to... Hopefully this is this is just going to translate well. Because... All right, this seems. Oh, Mr. Grabby Hands is back. Who are you chasing, my guy? All right, so I'm. I was, I was watching back my my footage just to make sure it was all right. But you know, things can get lost in translation between the fucking Elgato and Adobe. So, anyway. I was thinking about Saints Row. A where am I? I don't even know where I am. I was thinking about Saints Row and what bothered me about Saints Row. Ship. There's a ship and an eyeball, and I just fucking died. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it! This is going fantastic, just like the last episode. All right. I was thinking about Saints Row. The Saints Row reboot, and something that bothers me about it. Okay. Pause. I did not realize. I'm pretty sure this is the same section I was in before. This feels like the same thing. I didn't notice this ship before, written on the wall. I mean, I, I'm sure I clocked it in my brain, but I didn't speak about it. I don't know why this didn't ring to me. This is still the ship. This is the ship. And I land on the bed. Land on the bed, please. And an eyeball. Why didn't I... I don't know why I didn't pick that up before. Again, it clocked in my head. Didn't say shit about... God damn it! I'm talking, please. You fucking eel. I'm trying to explain. Fuck it. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> anyway. Saints Row reboot. Alright. I love Saints Row. Saints Row has a, a significant place in my heart. It's one of those games I played, one of those first games I played when I had my own Xbox. I played the demo, I played the fuck out of the demo when, um, when it was a demo, back when they even did demos. 
when I didn't have my own Xbox. It was the it was the family Xbox, and I got a message from Xbox. What is going on? <laughs> and um, I I love it. Saints Row one and two at least are very significant to me. And um, I remember being hyped as shit for Saints Row three, but that was before I was super into the um, industry before I slide fuck you didn't slide you didn't slide bro but I see where I'm supposed to go back against the wall and go around the gaze alright I see it anyway Saints Row 3 or Saints Row the 3rd I was extremely hyped for because since her one and two were like my childhood, it was the shit. I loved it. It's a reason why I love purple so much. I loved it. Saints Row three, on the other hand, was a major disappointment to me. Because before I was within, I was deep diving in the industry of video games before I really knew like the politics behind shit and Saints Row the third was when um Saints Row lost or were volition or T no were THQ when THQ went bankrupt and they sold the IP of Saints Row to volition and that was volition's first um Saints Row title. Why? I cannot see sh I really hope this translates well because I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing because I, I can't I can I see silhouettes and the gray fog which I talked about in the last game last episode how I hate noticing the layers of darkness. Anyway um and then I've heard about this reboot coming a few, maybe two weeks ago, two weeks ago. And I was excited because like the, the, the Volition, hello? The Volition Saints Row got way, way too fucking silly. It got way too out of fucking control, in my opinion. Like, Saints Row 3, the third, was fun. It was still sort of grounded, but like... Like, sure, they had some cool concepts, like when you when you sprinting and you hit the melee, and you fuck somebody up, that's just fun. But the change in city, I didn't care about. The villains, I didn't care about. The fucking, um, the customization was dumbed down, in my opinion. It was lacking. Like, the character creation was, was fine, sure. Like, for some reason, my nigga always, lo always looked like Kanye West. <laughs> I've always thought he looked like Kanye West, and I don't know why. It, it just had a very Kanye vibe about him. Anyway. It's it's it was a disappointment to me because it, it 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 went too far out of its way in my opinion. But I still had fun with it. But Saints Row Four, Saints Row Four, I don't, what do you want? What do you want from me right now? I don't know. Saints Row Four was a huge disappointment. Like it went so far into fantasy, I can't even fucking respect it really because it's it's just so like the saints are now like in the white house the boss is the president and like there's aliens invading and it's just all this shit that I, like that's just it's just not saints row to me you know i don't want to be that guy that's like oh it was better back in the day it just was you know in my opinion like 
Saints Row really lost its image with Saints Row 4. Uh, well, even with 3, it lost what it was, in, to me, at least, you know? Because Saints Row... I need to think real quick. Where the fuck am I going? Saints Row, I can't drag that. What can I, can I drag anything? It seems like I need to get up on the fucking thing over there, but I don't have... Hey! I don't even realize this. This guy can fucking swim. Hey, thanks guys. You guys are the fucking best. But, um... Saints Row lost its identity with 3. Because it wasn't published by... Or developed by THQ, which I don't, I don't know which one it is. Developing or publishing. Either way, it's not... Saints Row to me. And, like, because the, the THQ Saints Rows were very, were, were grounded at least. Like, it was the competitor, competitor to GTA, but it had its own, its own, um, feel to it. It had its own identity. Why the fuck can I not figure out what the fuck I'm doing? I can't. Hold on, let me think real quick. I can't jump up there. I can't grab that. I can't dive in these fucking holes here. So I'm gonna keep ranting about Saints Row. <laughs> so Saints Row, um, was grounded. Saints Row 1 and 2 felt grounded to me. Like, it was still silly. It still had its own quirks. It's still, it was a, it was a GTA competitor or clone as some people like to say. Excuse me? As people like to say. But, um, it felt different. It felt different enough to not be a GTA clone. It had its own shit going on. Throw it in there. Throw it in. Come on, you can do it, buddy. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna pay. Come on. I know, I know, I know you got this. <laughs> you just fucking did it. Let's do it again. You know what you're doing now. Let's go. Come on. And like Rose of the Ranks. Well, not in one. Not in, in one. He was just he was a lieutenant in one, which is fine. He was the errand boy. God damn it! Thank you. Are you shitting me? Are you serious? It was you saw it. It was in there, and he popped back out. Let me plug in my fucking controller. You shitting me. Man, fuck. I wasted so much time. I wasted like four or five minutes just trying to throw cans into a hole ranting about Saints Row. Any fucking way. Saints Row. <laughs> Saints Row. Troy. Doing, doing, doing the side jobs for them and like like getting respect and shit what well, really set it apart from um gta uh, this, this must not be where i need to go from gta is like the the like the little side activities like the the distractions or the i was really trying to pull that off oh instead of a tour instead of a thing we get a flashlight give me give it give it Hell yeah! I love that so much more than the fucking than the lighter. That is oh god! I oh that that is great. Holy crap! That is great. Anyway, um, no wait, hey, fuck out of here, bro. Yeah, Saints Row Saints Row One, and spoiler spoiler alert: after nearly ten years or so of the game being out. And Saints Row 1, you get... Oh, my God, that was fast. He was fast. Hold, hold up, dog. Let me get... Let me catch my breath. I'm trying to talk about Saints Row here. Um... Saints Row 1. At the end of Saints Row 1, you get set up. You get... You get on this fucking yacht, and they fucking blow you up because you're going to take the fall for... Or you exchange your life 
for the betterment of the... Yep. Hell yeah, I jumped over your... No, you don't let go. Don't let go of Red Trigger. Um, for the betterment of the gang, right? But you don't know that. Your, your ass gets set up. You're supposed to be in this yacht. And... Your gang sets you up to die. Right. Oh, and fucking Lynn. Oh my god, Lynn died. And she gets drowned in the back of a car. Oh my god, that hurt me. That hurt me bad. Because I have a soft spot for women in general. And, like, seeing Lynn, such a badass character, fucking go out like that. I was like, no, Lynn, I was so close. I almost saved you, but you drowned. Anyway. Uh, you get set up, and you die, essentially, for the gang, right? They give you up. Troy is a undercover cop. He sets the whole thing up. Him and Julius. He sets the whole thing up for you to take the fall. And that's the end of Saints for a one, right? In a nutshell. In a drunken nutshell, that's the end. Can I, can I, can I, can I jump? Can I, cause I see. Ugh. Ugh, shit. I'm getting drunk sleepy now. Or drunk tired, I should say. And in Saints Row 2, you fucking come back. Or you're in a coma from the, uh, from the explosion on the yacht. And um, you're in prison, actually. You're in a prison coma. Or being... You're in a prison, being cared for by the prison, in a coma, whatever. Troy's protecting you from getting fucking killed while you're in there. Because you're a saint, a, a gang member, a saint lieutenant. And you know how gangs work in prison and shit. No, no, no. I am talking right now. Do not interrupt me. Do not mansplain to me what you're... Yeah, fuck out of here, you ugly ass hand. Um... In scene two, you actually have a voice. And you pretty much rebuild the gang from the ground up with you as a boss, not Julius. And it's fucking great. It's definitely much more silly than uh, Saints Row 1 was. Um, it's much more cartoony. It's much... Um, much more cartoony. Much more, like, silly. There's, like, a lot more... Uh, Oh, no! Whoa! Hey, hang on. Hang on. Gotta kite you guys around a little bit, and I am out of here. Um, I guess that's what the cans were, huh? You could show you could th throw the cans through the hole. Hmm. You know what? I wonder if I can, can I put a mask on you? No, I can't. I gotta do that in the main menu. But, um... Cause you would work, you'd you'd work pretty well with the with the uh, sack with the scarecrow mask on. I didn't think it would work too well with the girl in the red raincoat and the red. Wow, the yellow raincoat. Cause I feel like it would contrast. I think it would be like the burlap sack over the yellow torso. I didn't try it. That's just what I thought. And uh, I didn't do it, but you, if you, if you can have that, that burlap sack, they're pretty dope. What a teacup, even. But anyway, Saints Row. This whole episode is me ranting about Saints Row and playing through this fucking game. Anyway, uh, Saints Row 2, you, you, you rebuild the Saints, and it still, it still feels grounded. As silly as it becomes, it's still grounded. You know, the story is still grounded. It's still believable. It's still uh, human to a degree, I'll say. And it's like, it's great, man. It's, it's not the best thing ever written. It's not like, it's not, uh, get in the fucking toilet. 
It's not like, um... Hold A, you fucking dummy, you drunk idiot. N fuck it. And, um... You can't... What? Can I push it? Huh. That's interesting. But the story is believable, you know? It's still in still water. Johnny Gat is still there, probably the best character in the fucking game, even even uh, more so than the protagonist. Johnny Gat's the fucking shit. We'll get to Johnny Gat in a second. But uh, the story is believable, and it's 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 it still feels grounded. And in uh, the th third, Sansa the third. Uh. I don't like this. I don't. I don't. I don't like this. Saints of the Third. You're like you. You rebuild the gang. You're still in power as the boss. You still have. Um, you're still in Stillwater. You still have your your lieutenants from Saints Row Two: Shondi, Pierce, and Johnny, of course. God damn it. And, um. But in Saints of the Third, you're like celebrities in the beginning. You're. You're. You've reached this point of. Progress where you're not just a street gang. You're. Celebrities. You, you're doing commercials. You have sponsorships from. This fucking. Energy drink. Or you created an energy drink. And you're selling, you're making bones upon bones of money. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, what? What gang is a fucking celebrity in their city? And they still do crimes. Like, the opening scene of, <laughs> of Saints Row the Third is you robbing a bank in Stillwater. And you're dressed as... Mascot? Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I don't... This has to have been raised for a reason, and I don't know that reason. Do I have to... Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Can I pull it halfway? Can I pull it only halfway? And then get some. No. Maybe? Oh, I did two thirds of the way because I see I see it right to the right. I see it. We're going. All right. Anyway, you're fucking celebrities, and you're dressed as a fucking uh, mascot costume of Johnny. G it's too too high. It's too high. Oh no, it's not too high. A mascot, a fucking Johnny Gat is a mascot wearing this fucking college ass letterman jacket outfit. Like what the fuck are you talking about? Why would why why? What are you talking about? Why is why'd you make Johnny Gat a mascot? And why what is going on here, man? It, it, it completely lost its its realism to me at that point in that opening scene it like this is completely not this is not the same I I'm holding it I can't pull it these thicker boards than what is usually there I guess I guess that is what that is um it's like what the fuck man? Like I wasn't completely opposed to the idea. It's just it's just a shock to me. Like they went in such a different direction, which is fine, because it's not THQ. It's Volition. They have their own vision. It's own vision building upon established lore, and that's fine. I'm totally fine with that. Yes, I was distracted. Yes, I was drinking. Hold on. Fuck! I was right there. Damn it! I was right there. Building upon a step of shore, that's, that's, that's fine. 
You have your own vision. That's fine. It's just like, this isn't the same throw I grew up with. I don't want to be that guy, but I'm being that guy with this. I could be the same guy with Halo, but I'll talk about Halo in a whole different bit. This is this is not the same. This is not the Halo Little Nightmares video. This is the Saints Row Little Nightmares video. Do I, can I, do I have to stop? I have to stop. Don't I? I have to stop. I have to stop. Oh, that was close. Holy shit, that was close. Oh god. All right, let me plan my route. We're going right here. We're jumping into it. Platform this shit. Yep. Well, we're gone. Yeah, you hang around there. I'll be over here. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. You are fast, though. You are fast. Hold right trigger. What are you doing? God damn it. Why did I let go of right trigger? Any hooser, my looter. Alright. Come right towards here. See, okay, side note, that's actually more pre prevalent to this game. I noticed this bottle on the wrong button. I noticed this bottle on the uh, sink, in that beginning area, but I didn't. No, I just, okay, cool. I didn't. I couldn't figure out a way to get there practically. I, I didn't think I could jump far enough from the thing. Which I probably should have tried at least, but I didn't do it. And I knew that the, the box I was dragging wouldn't be tall enough for me to jump and grab it. So I'm like, fuck it. Like, I see it. I, I know you're there, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna try. Anyway. Saints Row 3, there's celebrities that are still committing crimes. Or celebrities in Stillwater, at at least. The very least, actually. It is the very least. And I didn't like that. I mean, it's fine, but like, whatever. We're moving on. And they rob a bank in Stillwater that belongs to a syndicate in another city called Steelport. Don't give a singular fuck about the name of Steelport. The name is lame, very generic. I don't give a fuck about it. Um. Fuck me. I was way too fast. I was. I did not. Shit. I. Ah, damn it. I did not. I didn't think enough for that. Or I was too bold. I thought and I, I forgot I needed to swing. Steelport, don't give a shit with the name. But I do appreciate that they made a new city. Cause it was a second game. Is it is two the same city twice in a row. Saints Row Two's map was a bit expanded. They had suburbs over here, they had a whole different area over there. It was cool. The the change the development of the city it was fine. I really enjoyed that in Saints Row Two. Steelport, a different city. I appreciate that the layout was fine. Like it was, it was okay. The um, well, I didn't like it. Didn't care about it. Was like the gangs again. Like the gangs in one and two were separate gangs. They had their own identity. They had their own shit going on. They had their own ideals. Fine, great, even. No, back! Fuck! I should have thrown it behind me. Cause that, cause these should distract the hand and fuck me. Throw that back there, you should go back there, right? You should go back there. No! Damn it! I need to wait, I need to throw the fish behind me. And then wait till he grabs it. Before I go. That makes sense to me. We'll try that. Anyway. The gangs in Steelport. Are all part of the same syndicate. I get it. Syndicate is the. Is, is like a wide. Reaching. 
criminal organization. I understand as what Syndicate is. But to have the three gangs be Morningstar, uh, the Deckers, and the Luchadors, which are honestly completely generic to me. Like, they're, they're the very uninspired names, in my opinion. Um. <laughs> like, there's a funny joke in Saints. Fuck. Bitch. I was I was laughing. I closed my fucking restart. It's a kind of funny joke in Saints Row One. I didn't even I didn't even talk about Dex. Dex in Saints Row One was the smart nigga, right? He was in the ghetto. He grew up like everybody else, but he was a smart nigga, right? He was in the gang. He he he's the nigga you go to for like the 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 smart shit, right? And he dealt with the Carnales gang, the, the Hispanic gang of Saints Row 1. And it was a funny joke, in my opinion, it was funny. Even when, even at that age, I thought it was funny. When, um, <laughs> it was one of the cutscenes. And I think Troy was also part of the Carnales missions. And <laughs> Troy was like, how do you deal with the Los Carnales? And Dex, Dex very annoyedly said, in a very annoyed tone, was like, it's not the Los Carnales, it's just, c fuck it. Because <laughs> he's smart, he knows a bit of Spanish, it's like, it's not, because Los means the, it's like, it's not Los Carnales, it's just the Carnales. Or just Los Carnales, right? And, you bastard! You sack of shit! Oh, thank god. I was- <laughs> I saw it coming. I, 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 I thought I jumped a little too early, but I guess I was fine. Hey, a fucking shoe. You wanna eat this fucking shoe, my guy? Um... Take that. Eat that shit, bitch. No? You don't want the fucking shoe? Bastard. Anyway, you know, Dex, Dex is a real smart nigga, like, I didn't see it coming in one, because you don't see it coming in one, you don't even know until two, that, um, Dex was a nigga, Dex, Julius, and Troy, that set your ass up to take the fall, and, um, was it Dex? Actually, no, it was not Dex. Dex was not... Dex may have been involved. I don't know. I haven't I haven't been in into Saints Row lore in a while. But, um... Dex was that nigga. Was that smart nigga. And, in Saint, and he just disappeared at the end of... After the end of Saints Row 1. He just fucking disappeared. And, um... Apparently, what am I? Do I need a crank? Do I have a crank? I can't get up there. I can't get up here. I sure though can't grab this doorknob. Can I push it though? No, I can't. What the fuck am I supposed to goddamn, bro? What am I supposed to? Hang on. Should I not have thrown that shoe into the water and thrown both shoes into here? All right, you're not gonna do this to me again. We're not. We're not doing this. No, that doesn't fucking matter. Suspicions, or this is not gonna go well. I don't want to cut any of this rant out. I'm gonna die and see if I can. All right, we're gonna we're gonna do it like this. And um, two shoes, a can, and a fucking and this thing. Um, it fucking blew my mind. I'm like, you son of a bitch, you know? You were my boy, dog. You were my nigga, man. What happened? And I felt the same about Troy. Like Troy, you were a fucking snitch the whole time, or undercover the whole time. 
it's the whole thing. The whole thing is great, right? It blew my fucking mind hole. Come on, man. In. Yeah. But nothing fucking happens. 150? 150 for that rare achievement. This game's in now. I don't know when this DLC came out, but. <laughs> but. 150. I haven't had a 150 achievement in a very long time. Right? But for something like this, a game has been out for seven, for, for f almost four years. I don't know when DSC came out, but the game has been out for almost four years. Holy shit. That is great. I'm glad I ranted and tried to do, you know what? I'm fine. You know what? We're moving on. This is great. Hopefully, or hopefully we can move on if I can figure this shit the fuck out. But anyway, Dex set you up with Julius. Julius knew about it. Troy is a pl fuck. Can I jump in there, actually? What's going on in here? And all that shit. Like, 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 like you understand at this point the level of impact this game has had on me and the story I've been invested in, right? And in Saints Row 3, this shit gets thrown away. Like, not thrown away. Like, okay. In Saints Row 2, there's DLC where you talk to Julius. He's a withered up old man. He he also dropped his flags and went whatever. But he's, he's different. Established character. You are your own character. The boss or the... Can I... Hello? You're kidding! You are shitting me! There's no way I spent 20 minutes running around here. There's no way I spent 20 minutes running around here ranting about Saints Row when this fucking floorboard didn't move once. How many times have I been over here? I had not once noticed this. God damn it. Ugh. I'm not mad about it though, because I got a 150 achievement, and I'm talking about something, so you guys better be fucking appreciative. Son of a bitch. I fell off. <laughs> anyway. She's, she's talking about how... How... You play... As her. As the boss. She is the boss. No. That is not... I refuse to accept that. That's not what Saints Row is about. You are... Your created character is the boss. The boss is not an established person. You know? Female, male, I don't give a fuck. You are not... That is not who the boss is. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I, I saw it coming. I remembered what happened last time I had momentum on a fucking door. But I should have jumped off earlier because now I'm stuck. Get up. Can you, can you please? No. Is there another hand? There's a chair. Mm, okay. Um. No, you don't play as an established character. You are the boss. Whatever you create. Male, female, fat, skinny, white, black, doesn't fucking matter. You are the boss of the gang. Uh, what? Um, can I? Oh, good. Great. Fantastic. It's like, dog, no. No, don't do this to me. You can't take away. You can't take a giant leap backwards. In all, in like the near decade that Saints Row has existed. To fucking make me play as an established character. If she is the if she is the the voice of the fem of the black female created character, that's totally fine. One hundred percent fantastic. 
But if you are stuck playing as what they give you, it is unacceptable in my opinion. It is re- it is upsetting that, 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 that they would take such a leap backwards. To remove character creation. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know what I'm saying. But. It disappointed me. Now my buzz is gone. I'm at 51 minutes. I gotta end this video. Because this has just been talking about Saints Row. And making minimal progress. Forgive me. I have a lot to talk about. I might just make a fuck. I might just play Call of Duty and talk about fucking Saints Row while Call of Duty plays in the background. <laughs>